This is a review of an exhibition, Mary Fisher and Friends, held at the Armory Art Center and opening in January of 2018. We're starting with pictures of a piece of mine spackling over a vintage quilt block, set of blocks, enhanced with colored pencil. Those are a few of framed pieces by Mary Fisher, paper and screen printing. This is really the gem of the exhibition called um, Ascension from Destruction. There are over a hundred of the paper, cast paper pulp spirits lifting away from the landscape below. These figures, uh, each, each is different and each is a combination, as I said, of paper pulp and then you can see threads uh, and yarns that were embedded in the paper to create the figures. The piece was accompanied by very ethereal music and was lit so that the shadows on the walls rose and fell. It was a very uh, poignant, beautiful installation. And there you can see the rocks that were created. Um, all of those are hand uh, dyed and printed fabrics fused to felt and cut and then machined together in order to create the landscape below over a very dense uh, styrofoam support so that the ground was raised. This was approximately 20 by 20 feet, so it's quite a large installation and was perfect for the very uh, cavernous space of one of those galleries at the Art Center. Here's Mary's statement. The angels watch the city's demise. They'll not tread among the smoking evil of those who destroy, but we, souls who hover and lift, we rise to see regeneration. Mother Earth, soft green reappears, delivering hope to a dark and brutal time. The smaller gallery in the front housed the work of Jan Beanie and Jean Littlejohn, embroiderers from the UK who are known for their very dense combination of machine and hand embroidery. This is the work of Jan Beanie, and Jan is heavily influenced by the landscapes not only in her native England, but also in the various places that she visits around the world. And so this was a series of pieces based on gardens. Beautiful coloring and the perfect scale for this more intimate space. There you can see some of the hand stitching over the background that was created on a water soluble substrate so that it could be, once the, the machine work is finished, the substrate is, is soaked so that it dissolves, leaving a piece of, of embroidered fabric, which of course, as I say, is then further enhanced. All of that, uh, all of those French knots and seed stitches very time-consuming work with a beautiful outcome. The other side of the gallery featured the work of Jean Littlejohn, who has been, I guess I could safely use the word obsessed, by the moon in all its phases and permutations. It's one of my personal favorites. Sold before I could get to it, of course. But these have to do with stories and myths related to the moon and incorporate unexpected materials in addition to the stitching, including this glittery, wonderful piece, which began as a sequin dress. You can see uh, how she takes the most uh, uh, sort of average background fabric and turns it into something spectacular with this incredible stitching. This is a beauty, as was this particular one with the waves of the sea. 
and a larger piece, again, that beautiful combination of surface design, in this case, some leafing and foiling, over which the very uh, brilliant colors of the stitching. Now we're back in the gallery where my work was featured. These pieces are all, once again, repurposed quilts. I cover the entire surface with gold leaf, add pieces of paper that have been cut from Bibles and dictionaries, uh, all cut to work with the pattern that was inherent in the quilt to begin with. So I'm not disguising the pattern as much as I'm enhancing it and bringing it a different sort of life. This piece at the very back of the gallery doesn't have nearly the amount of paint on the surface as some of the others, so you can really, you can really see the gold leaf, and you can also see the quilt peeking out from behind the gold. In some cases, I actually use sandpaper to remove the gold and rough up the surface. In this case, that's how those diamonds were uh, re-exposed. Another example of what I think of, these are, I consider, textile constructions and mixed media pieces. In this particular piece, you can really see the original star pattern that was the quilt prior to my beginning to go at it with the gold leaf and the paper and the printed shapes.